Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Down here I am. Forsooth. What happened to Fritten? She's not involved, sir. We've got footage of her heading to the theatre. Romeo and Juliet at the Globe. It's meant to be rather good. Shakespeare's Globe. We've got to stop them! I have a faint cold fear fills through my veins. Freezes up the heat of life. I'm calling back again to come with me now. <sighs> what does she do here? <sighs> Gentle vial. <laughs> Sir, isn't that guys? Let's go. Do I need to remind you it's supposed to be a secret organization? No, of course I. I just thought that. Just don't. No other way out. The play's nearly over. We move as soon as it finishes. Stay, stay. She's very good. Yes. Isn't that your cue? My dearest love, please don't be dead. But so much remains unsaid. Ups we've had. And downs, yea, we've had a few. And um, nights of rough and tumble, one or two. <laughs> and now, it might be the very moment to do well, I must admit, I find it rather hard to do. And that is to say that I love, that I love. That I love. Ciao, ciao. Hello, girls. Remember me? Of course you do. Congratulations on your little find. Finally, the Frittens catch up to what we Pomfries have known for generations. That your celebrated sea dog was a she dog. We knew this inconvenient discovery would turn up sooner or later. Just had to make sure we got to it first. 
But all's well that ends well. As the old boot said, now we can destroy it. It's too late, Pomfrey. You can destroy the play, but the secret's out. Shakespeare was a woman, and we will tell the world. Oh. You're going to tell on me? Please don't tell on me. Oh, please don't tell on me. <laughs> Look at you. Who's going to believe a bunch of jumped up, porky telling little schoolgirls over me? I, I play tennis with Sting, for Christ's sake. Smart. Well, me. Yes, what I don't quite understand, sir, is why Shakespeare had to pretend to be a man in the first place. Because, you complete moron. Back in the good old days, a woman couldn't do a man's job. Except Mrs. Shakespeare. She did a pretty good job of being a man, if you ask me. In fact, Peter's. I was... Shut up. Yes, sir. Hmm. Load of girly drivel. Um... Sir? Peters? Yes, I know, sir, but, but if you would perhaps... for Sir Piers Pumphrey, the head of the corrupt secret society, AD1. And here he is. Sir Piers, having been exposed as a sexist, how does it feel to have been beaten and now publicly humiliated by a group of girls? Well, I think humiliated is a bit strong. 